All right, so we've got uh, a basic layout for our landing page. Now let's work on our search results page. So let's add a new page to our canvas. And I'm gonna zoom out. Uh, I'm gonna make this about the same size as our homepage, and I'm gonna call this one search results. And uh, for this page, I want it to look like the Google search results page. So um, we're gonna have sort of a traditional header on the search results page and then a body. So I'm gonna add a div to this page and I'm gonna call this div header. And I'll add a second div while I'm here and we'll call this one div results. All right, so let's lay this out um, the way that we want. The first thing that we want is um, to set our size and spacing for um, our, our header. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use flex again, and as the direction, I want the direction to be in a row. I'm gonna have multiple elements on my header that uh, go horizontal, so this will be a flex row. And uh, I want a padding, so I'm gonna come to my spacing here, and I want an all around padding of 30 pixels. This will just give my header uh, a nice size. And then uh, for my header, I do want a border at the very bottom, just a small one pixel line to separate the header from the uh, body of the page. So I'm gonna come down here to border and outline, one pixel, solid, and drop in my color. And actually, I did that wrong. <laughs> uh, I want this border to be on the bottom. So border bottom, one pixel, solid, and there's my color. All right, so that's how I want that to be set. I removed uh, the regular border. All right, so uh, now that I have um, kind of the size that I want. Let's move on to uh, the elements that are going to go in there. And I'm actually going to put the uh, logo in there. And I have a logo already uh, on my landing page. So I'm just going to copy that, come back to my header div, and I'm going to paste it in. So now I have uh, my image here. I'm just going to change the size of it. This is a little big. Um, let's maybe make this 100 pixels wide. That looks good. All right, so now we've got a uh, image. Um, I'm gonna move on to uh, the results part of the page, which will be down below this header. So um, I have this div that I already created. Um, what I wanna do is, uh, move this down below. All right, um, what I wanna do is just add some padding to it. And um, this is really so that the search results kind of fit um, neatly within the page. And so I'm actually gonna use percentages for this um, because I want it to be sort of, um, you know, in relation to the size of the page. So I'm gonna do 10% uh, padding on the left and 20% on the right. And once we get our full page together, you'll see what this actually does to the content. Um, the next thing I add is my number of results or the count that shows um, how many results were returned. I'm going to grab a uh, text paragraph and just drop this in here. And I'm gonna change the default text to say about 100,000 results. Uh, this is just a placeholder. We'll actually make this dynamic when we get into our actions and flows. So this will say the number of results that we actually have returned. Let's add a little bit of styling. So I want my font uh, size to be 14 pixels. And I have a, this gray color that I want. So I've got that set. And I'm going to add just a little bit of extra spacing. Set the margin to 20 pixels so that it has some breathing room. Uh, with the line above. Now for our uh, results list, um, 
is this is actually going to be a list of results returned from the database. So we're going to use the grid list element. So I'm going to come down to data display and drag a grid list into uh, my page. So I now have this grid list uh, here. And in order for a grid list to populate um, rows, we need to have a page that represents what each row is going to look like. So I'm going to add a new page here and drag and drop this in. And I'll move this up and we'll name this one result row. And on this page, we want um, the representation of one row of results. So this is going to be a link, a title, and a description. So uh, to start this page out, I'm going to add a div. And I'm just going to name it result row. And just going to add some spacing. Again, I know I want a margin above so that it's not touching the top of the div. Now inside of this, we're going to have um, a link, a title, and a description. And the way that Google works, um, Google search results work is the link and title are kind of one element. So you mouse over one, it's the same as mousing over both of them. And that's just something I know from looking at the Google search results page. So I'm going to have a div here um, called link. And that'll hold the link and the title. And I'll add a second one here called description. And in our uh, link div, we're going to add two elements. So we want the link itself. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We'll use text for both of these. So I'm going to add a text element for the link URL, and I'll rename that. And then I'm going to add a text element for the link name. Now, I want to style these two differently. Um, but first, let me add, let me just go ahead and add the uh, description. So I drop that into my div description, and I'm going to call this description. All right, so now we've got our three elements that will make up our search result. Let's go ahead and style them. Um, so the URL, I'm going to want uh, a font size of 14 pixels. And I want a color that's like a darker gray. So I'm going to drop in my color here. So that'll be my link URL. For the link name, uh, this is the link that shows up kind of blue in Google. And then once you've clicked on it, um, it'll show purple. Um, so I have a color selected. Uh, so let's go into here and set this up. First of all, my font size, I want it to be 20 pixels, so it's a little bit larger. Here's my color that I want to drop in, kind of a purplish blue. And then again, I want some spacing, so I'm going to set a margin of 7 pixels on top and 7 pixels on the bottom. Give that some room in between the link and the description. And lastly, let's style our description. So uh, I have a color here that I want to use for this. That's like a gray color. I want this to be 16 pixels. And there's my color. And again, I'll add some spacing to this with a margin. All right, so now I have a URL, a name, and a description. And I want to get a sense for what this actually will look like with real data in it. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and actually populate these with some uh, placeholder data. So I'll put a real URL in there like that. I'll put a real title. We'll use builder and then a real description. So now you get a sense for what our uh, result row will look like. Um, once we actually connect this to the database, all these values will be uh, replaced. So um, it'll be dynamic. This is just a placeholder so that when I'm working in the canvas, I can sort of visually see what my um, results are going to look like. So now that we have our row results set up, we can come back to our search results page and our grid list. And in our properties section, the very first uh, item is it's asking you what is the page to pull the row from. So now I have one called result row and I'm just going to select this and there you go. You'll see it populates. Let me move uh, this out of the way. But there you go. So you can see now this grid list element um, is sort of previewing what a list of elements is going to look like. Um, it's showing you you know, an example of three of these result rows loading. And at any time, if I uh, have my grid list selected, you can see here the go to child page. If I select that, it jumps directly to the page that uh, makes up the row. So I'm going to stop here. Um, we've got now a good uh, layout for our search results page. What I'm going to do is uh, go back to our search bar and start adding our um, icons to it. Um, and then once we get that looking the way we want, we can actually duplicate that onto our search results page so that we have a search bar on our results page as well. And then we'll move on to the fun part, actions and flows.